Hi there, Pastor Ken here with another leadership update to keep you in the know about what's going on behind the scenes here at Faith Bridge. Specifically, I want to talk to you about the status and future of some of our large community outreaches like Fall Fest, Celebrate Freedom. First, a bit of backstory. It's hard to believe, but this year is the 10th anniversary of Faith Bridge having our first permanent campus. Prior to Easter 2006, we were exclusively a portable church for seven years, much like we are again now at our Woodlands campus. But back when we were just one campus, when we moved to our facilities on Steubner Airline, one of the strategic goals that we had was we, we have to introduce what's going on here at Faithbridge to this community around us. So we tried various programs. Some stuck, some didn't stick. Two of the biggest events that we started in, in that season that have continued throughout the years have been our 4th of July fireworks celebration because nobody else was offering anything like that in the Klein community and our fall festival that we do every year around Halloween. As you know, both of those events grew exponentially in the first few years, very obviously accomplishing our goal of making ourselves known to the community. Each year since, we've taken a look back and evaluated through prayer, talking to many people, looking at the attendance numbers. We tried to measure whether all the efforts and resources that we're spending are proportionate to the strategic value it's bringing in the achievement of our goal to make more and stronger disciples who are making more and stronger disciples for Jesus. Something that many people have observed about Faith Bridge and our success, and which I believe is true, is that we've always maintained a laser-like focus on discipleship. The key to accomplishing that mission, keeping the main thing, the main thing over the years, has been strategically allocating our resources in ways that are most effective and do the most good at achieving our mission. So this past year, as we've taken a look back, we've seen that our return in community awareness, it's starting to plateau at the Klein campus. In a total of 10 years, I think we've sufficiently introduced ourselves to this community, becoming established as a congregation with a solid reputation for being externally focused. At the same time, on the whole, Faithbridge has grown and matured as a congregation. We've grown in our identity. Our roots have gotten deeper and stronger in this community. And so is our commitment to making more and stronger disciples who are making more and stronger disciples. A decade ago, now thriving ministries like our Bridging for Tomorrow ministry that, that works with Title I schools and families in need was barely getting started. Back in 2006, we were just figuring out how to be a church that had a permanent campus. Nowhere near being an active partner in planting dozens of new churches throughout the community like we've been doing through HCPN. Our bridging and missions programs, they're on fire like never before. With just this past summer, nearly 400 students alone going on mission journeys around the world. And the thought that Faithbridge would be a church with two campuses, with the possibility of more on the way, that had barely crossed our minds. And offering VBS at two campuses this past summer, it was a huge success. And we look forward to that expanding next summer. As we've matured as a church, and as you've matured and grown individually as disciples, we've seen truly a discipleship transformation happening in the recent years with groups and teams and individuals personally becoming bridges of faith, carriers of the gospel in the workplace and the school and around the community. And so now the main engine of growth here at Faith Bridge, at least at the Klein campus, is you going into the community, sharing the gospel, discipling others, paying it forward, if you will, that which was done for you a decade ago. Individually, faith bridgers like you are mobilizing and living out your discipleship, being bridges of faith, putting shoe leather on your faith, evangelizing, living out the gospel, being more effective in ministry than, than could ever 
happen if we offered a thousand programs to do that sort of thing? So on this 10 year anniversary, as we look towards the next season and beyond, particularly at Fall Festival and July 4th at the Klein campus, we as a leadership team have made the decision to shift our energy on this to where it's most needed and most effective. So this year, we're shifting the Fall Fest away from the Klein campus, and we're going to move it to the Colson Tuff Elementary in the Woodlands, where our track record as a thriving church is less known. Now, we're going to need faith bridges from all our campuses to come together to make that outreach a big success. And you'll hear more about that in the ways uh, that you could serve here in the coming uh, weeks. And for 2017, we're already exploring options and praying about how the resources that we spend on Celebrate Freedom might be utilized most effectively. In the next teaching series coming up, we're going to be talking about how Jesus, in his great commission, sent us to the ends of the earth that we might make more stronger disciples who make more and stronger disciples. So everything that we do is focused on discipleship. I can promise you that programs, they're going to come and go, but the gospel and our commitment to that mission. It's unchanging. Leaders, thank you for answering the call and being faithful to the work. Thanks for making a difference here and for eternity. It's a blessing, it's an honor to serve as your pastor. As always, let me know your thoughts and know that I and your whole leadership team continue to covet your prayers. Thanks for watching and thanks for all you do.